I heard that Kizuna went missing, so I tracked her smartphone GPS. This led me here. Her phone was destroyed. Yeah, I saw it at the bottom of the stairs. But I was able to get the location before that. I loaded him up with powerful anesthetic bullets. 20 times stronger than a sleep dart. Should last at least 12 hours. Huh? Why did you do that? Now I won't be able to ask where Kizuna is, idiot! Oops. About that, there's an explosive on the back of his head. It'll explode if you try to take the mask off. <sighs> Terror isn't getting up. Maybe if I put a compound fracture in his leg... No. You know how they knock patients out with anesthetics before surgery? That's basically what I used. He's gonna be out for a while. So what am I supposed to do? Sorry. Don't be sorry, be smart! Think of a plan to find Kizuna! I guess we'll just have to take him to Abyss. We need to sink. Sink? Yeah. Then I have an idea. If we go there... Still here, as expected. Supposed to break if you try to move it. Thanks to that crazy guy. <sighs> that was a restful sleep. Iba! Are you alright? I am, thanks to my recovery program. What happened while I was out? I'll tell you everything later. I was gonna sink to find out where Kizuna is. Sink with who? Hmm. This situation makes no sense, but... Understood. Wow! The vile, lowly, perverted old man is here too? Who are you calling perverted? Oh, you could hear me? You didn't cut the line off. You do realize I have a reception device in my left eye socket, right? Anyway, I never thought I'd see you there, Iba. She is much more comfortable than you, Date. Though her chest size does leave much to be desired. That has nothing to do with anything! Ladies, we have a job to do. Yeah, we need to sink with terror. Date, can you back me up? But you're gonna do it? Of course. I feel like I should do it. Don't worry, my body's recovered a little. Are you sure? I said I'm fine. I have Iba with me too. Indeed. If you say so. Okay, we're ready. Remember, you can only stay in Somnium for- Enough already! But I didn't even get a chance to say it. Just start it. Fine. Let's do this. Three, two, one. You're my slave. Yes. I am your knave. Your jester. What would you be without me? You are just some twin-tailed girl with glasses. I don't have glasses! My vision is 1.5 in my right eye and 20.5 in my left! Thanks to me! Oh, back to normal. Let's go, knave! Got it. Somnium scan, activate!
I can only interact with the sphere. That looks dangerous. Careful, Knave. Understood. By the way, how long are we going to keep that up? What is this? Maybe there's something hidden inside. Can you touch it? It is cold to the touch. Stop! Uh, let me out! Please! Oh, I'm scared! Uh, let me out! Let me out! Uh, someone! Help me! That voice was... We need more information. Mizuki, that PC is on. We should inspect it. It says R enter on the display. R? What do you think that means? It is an older model, but there is nothing particularly strange about it. Is there a name on it? This is not a video game cartridge. There is no name displayed. A PC. It says R enter on the display. If we press enter, is something going to happen? There is a high probability. It seems like it wants us to press enter. Should we really do it? Even if it's a trap, we won't know what our enemy is up to until we do this. True. Okay. There. Where am I? Did we move? Doesn't all this problem solving kind of remind you of an escape room? Are you familiar with this, Mizuki? I've seen a friend play it. You cooperate with other people to escape a ship. I only really like fighting games, though. Judging by these characters and equations, you must be correct about the problem solving angle. But we are in a dream. Things may not be strictly logical. So let's check everything out. Use our heads for a change. You should always be using your head. A piece of paper with letters and numbers. Looks like a chart. Each letter is given a number. This might help us solve the room. We should hold on to it. Hey, isn't that the same sphere from the room before? It is disturbing the flow of time around it. We shouldn't get too close. That seems to be correct. Yay! Hmm? Is the sphere becoming slightly transparent? Is it? You sure you aren't seeing things? Seven. Good job. Correct. Mm-hmm. No, it is as I surmised. The sphere is becoming clearer. You're right. Is that terror inside? Nine? Seems you are correct. Yay! It's more transparent. I wonder what it means. Four. Hmm, correct. Easy. We can completely see them now. What's that on their back? Answer is me. Correct. Good job. I'm so good. It says five inside the locker. I know. Help. Correct. Good job. That was easy. It says one inside the locker. Uh... Would you like me to produce the answer with my high-speed calculations? Uh, sure, yeah. All right. Super high-speed calculator, activate! This is the answer. The correct answer is mom. It says two inside the locker. 
There are mysterious symbols on the door and an input device. It's not opening? It is locked. I assume we need to type in a three-digit number. A three-digit number? The number's on the lockers. 215. Correct. That was easy. I'll open it. A piece of paper? It is part of a diary. The handwriting looks like a child's. If they just didn't exist, I wouldn't be trapped like this. Terrible, 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 terrible. That guy can just die. Now we are back in this room. Perhaps because we opened the door in the other place? That diary from earlier. Do you think Tara wrote it as a kid? If so, that would mean he was tracked here. By someone. We cannot draw any conclusions yet. We need more information. Huh. The display on the monitor changed. R equals 215. Hey, look at that. We should investigate. Hmm. It appears it is safe to get close to this one. It looks just like the sphere that came out in the Red Room. With terror inside. Voice. What's happening? Mizuki, another PC turned on. If we investigate further, we may find our answer. Yeah, let's keep going. It says G Enter on the display. Kinda like before. We may become trapped again. Are you sure about this? Only one thing we can do. Push it and enter. Awfully tight in here. What is this? There's nothing here. Is the game over? Oh? I can get through this. The wall disappeared. The walls disappear after I walk through them. Rather odd behavior, if you ask me. Maybe Terror likes playing games with trapped victims. Something that he even did as a kid. Or perhaps it is only his desire to escape manifesting. If he was literally imprisoned, that would logically follow. This reminds me of a screensaver where pipes get longer and longer. That must have been a long time ago. Ugh. Hmm, another abstract painting. I don't know what it's supposed to be. What is this? Maybe you have to put your feet where the prints are. Hmm, I don't quite understand. The wall is in the way. When I pass through a wall, it disappears. Pass through the same place again, and the wall reappears. With these rules in mind, perhaps I can make this work. Hmm. I have never seen this particular image in the real world. Did Terror draw it? Hmm. I don't quite understand. 
The wall is in the way. When I pass through a wall, it disappears. Pass through the same place again, and the wall reappears. With these rules in mind, perhaps I can make this work. I see a picture with lines. Hmm. If we focus on the colors of the rhombus, the green and purple lines, it looks like a nine, right? Right. If we just focus on the colors of the rhombus, green and purple, it looks like a nine. Mizuki, it's the spear again. It looks a little different this time. But just as before, if we get too close, time will be siphoned away. Damn, the walls are in the way. A strange picture, but... If you're looking at the red and blue lights, same as the object here. It looks like a two. If we look at the red and blue light through the square, it does appear to be a two. Still can't see. Would you like me to produce the- Uh, all right. Okay, the wall is gone. Let's take another look. I see a strange picture. If you're just looking at the yellow and blue lights, same as the object here. It kind of looks like a two. I see. Focusing on only the yellow and blue light does appear to result in a two. There's a circle, square, and rhombus, and an input device on the door. It's not opening, is it? No, it is not. We appear to need another three-digit number. Another three-digit number? Numbers from that weird hole. 229. Huh. <sighs> Correct. Damn, that wall was annoying. All right, I'm opening the door. It's a piece of a diary. They took my lung this time. I can't breathe well when I'm sleeping. I'll never forgive them for this. They trap me here. I suffer alone. I won't forgive you, Jin. We made it back. What did that diary entry mean by took my lung? They could have been some kind of test subject. And Jin? Could it be referring to Jin Furue? Most likely. The display is slightly different again. G equals 229. The same number we inputted in the door. I've got a lot of questions, but we need to search this place first. Yes, the sphere has changed again. We should look. It's similar to what we saw after getting out of the Red Room. Is it just me, or is it bigger? Let's try touching this one. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Why does this always happen to me? Mine! Oh, mine! Terror's voice. He's angry. Indeed. The PC is on. Let's continue the investigation. It says, B, enter, on the display. Enter again. Maybe we need to play another escape game. Just try pressing it. Enter. Another dark room. Black. Okay. R is red, G is gold, B is black. I don't quite understand what all that means, but... That book... Yeah. 
Are these nice teachings? What's it say? 115, 10, 745. Get your half body back and make an arrow. An analog clock appeared on the wall. Another puzzle to solve in this room. Most likely. We need to find out what get your half body back and make an arrow means. 115, 10, 745. Get your half body back and make an arrow. The cover on the book changed. A nine. Another book. Another problem? Look at that. It's not moving fast. Don't let your guard down. They are creeping up. This is a small room. We need to be careful. What came to me was 999. What? It unlocked? Are you some kind of divine oracle? I'll open it. Another diary. I lost half of me. I will kill, 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 kill. I have no words. Neither do I. It says B equals 999 on the display. The mark has changed too. It looks like an equation. R times G times B? It looks like an iron ball. I feel like it is larger than before. Touch it. What I want? 49, 18, 57, 65. Putting those in the chart, L O V E. Love. Mizuki, the equation on the wall is changing again. B plus G plus R. The letters are reversed. Wait, there's more. I will try to touch it. Two, forty-three, three. These letters give us J I N. Jin. No. Does this mean Jin Furoi's parents were Tokiko and Chikara? Mizuki, we're out of time.
Huh? Where is Date? Hmm. Where did he go? That Somnium, though. Yeah. I am having a hard time deciphering it. It is the epitome of chaos. And we still don't know where Kizuna is. Where is the execution chamber? That sound. It came from the old factory. Could it be Date? Unknown. Let's take a look. But what about Terror? Date said he should be out for hours still. Ah, right. In that case... Date's not here. Mizuki, biological response behind us! You! Nice to meet you. I am the president of the Japanese Nizet Laws branch, Tokiko Shigure. But how? To escape this cursed labyrinth. Labyrinth? Correct. Yes, the child I worked so hard to bring into this world, Jin's father, is... The director of the Research Institute, Chikara Horidori. Yes. I will never forget what Shikara said when Jin was born. This child can conquer death. He is omniscient. He is the Almighty. What is your relationship with Terror? Is he your son too? Answer me! What you call the HB case is but a small part of the plan. As is the case with the QR video. Just another step in the plan. The rehearsal to prepare for the main event. That being said, it wasn't I who created it. Then who? Terror. In fact, it was Terror who came up with the plan. All I did was teach him how to reach Moksha. By creating seams, it can be made possible. Seams are the glitches and malfunctions in the simulation. By tearing at the seams, Moksha can be reached. By doing things that are beyond the comprehension of the designer, the design malfunctions. Glitches and bugs are created. For example, one may stand on just one leg for decades, or try to roll across an entire continent. One may live on a bed of nails. Another might strike his head upon a pillar thousands of times. Uh, hold on. What does this have to do with the HB case? Is it not similarly bizarre? Perfectly slicing a body into a left and right half. Do you think the designer expected that such a thing could occur? And I will have you know the HB case has a profound meaning. The intersection between the warp and weft. That's where the scene can occur. I don't understand any of this. are small, but when many are aligned, they can be torn into a gaping hole. In other words... If we do things that are beyond the comprehension of the designer, simultaneously, all around the world, books will start appearing everywhere. This will lead all mankind to reach Moksha, an emancipation from this fictional world. That is the Nirvana Initiative. Initiative is proceeding as planned. Humanity will eventually reach Moksha. But unfortunately, the plan cannot be acted on immediately. Preparations take time. Which 
is why they need to get rid of you. And everyone like you. Your? Jin. Jin Furaway. Why? How? Jin Furaway's dead. I will never forget what Shikara said when Jin was born. This child can conquer death. He is omniscient. He is the Almighty. You have seen and heard cannot be shared with anyone. If you do, I will kill her. Uh. I have an abundant amount of money. Even if I were to die, the assassins I've hired would still find her. Am I clear? Oh, wait. Hey, you okay? Snap out of it. Uh, uh. Date, to the hospital. I know. Damn it. this What's going on? Over there. Where? They are slightly transparent, but odd. We cannot interact with them. It is not looking good. This is only speculation, but there appears to be mental damage. This is awful. Mizuki, that child is becoming a little more solid. You're right, they are. This child is not moving. Whoa. 
clear now. The more we investigate the child, the more tangible they become. What is their relationship with the other children? They're not moving. <laughs> is this... anesthesia? Mizuki, we can interact with that child again. We should take a look. There does not appear to be a problem. Wait! Those children from earlier. My guess is, they were all Chikara's test subjects. How many children did he do this to? <laughs> I did it! <laughs> no. This can't be happening. Chikara's experiment is almost complete. Does that mean there's an immortal kid out there with eternal youth? The child that got away earlier raises suspicion. Yeah, let's find them. The child's growth is heavily stunted. Aiba, chase after them. Another one. In fact, he has not significantly changed in appearance in over six years. Could it be? Currently 18 years old. The sole success of Chikara's experiments. I had a dream. Oh? It wasn't a good dream. Maybe you're tired. It was a dream about you. Can we talk about something? Wasn't this room made for that? Or is this a karaoke room? As I told you before, I was created by having my genome rearranged. And I'm not the only one born this way. All for Chikara's research of eternal youth and life. Many children were used for his research. Don't worry about my heart. As long as I don't push myself too hard, I'll be fine. Chikara Horadori. After many years of insanity, his research is nearly complete. It's been decades. And finally... What do you mean by nearly? 
He couldn't completely stop the aging process, but he was able to slow it to a crawl. I'm sure Chikara was content with that success, because through that, he was able to achieve something far more difficult. What? Slowing down the aging process wasn't only achieved by modifying the genomes of fertilized embryos. Chikara was able to rearrange the DNA of a fully matured adult. After all, it wouldn't be as meaningful to him if he couldn't. No amount of research would allow him to turn back into an egg. Can you tell me one last thing? In the dream, the last thing I saw was a boy I know well. Is he also a victim of the research? Yes. Shoma Enda. The lone success of the research. He's cursed with eternal youth and life. Kotatsu. Hmm? Didn't I tell you not to just get under the Kotatsu without permission? You did? Yes, I did! Oh, are you angry? Your temper is as hot as the Kotatsu. Can you leave? No. Why not? Because Kotatsus are made for two people. You are young, but remarkably intelligent for your age. I believe you can comprehend the teachings of Nyes. This world which you have lost all faith in is a false one. By reaching the real world through Moksha, you can rid yourself of all your complications and concerns. Chocolate? Yeah. Why? Because. It's Valentine's Day today, isn't it? That's weird. I feel like you gave me the same chocolate before, Mizuki. I did? Yeah. That's strange. I don't remember. Maybe it's deja vu. Anyway, thank you. About what? You're living by yourself, right? I'm okay. My big sister comes to visit all the time. Huh? You have a big sister? Oh, I didn't tell you? You know her. I do? Who is it? Amame. Amame Doi. What? You're her little brother? Is it that surprising? Well, our parents divorced, and we have different last names, so... I guess you wouldn't know. Yeah, I saw online there was some kind of scene. I heard it was nice. You know anything about it? No, nothing. The internet thinks it might have to do with something called the Nirvana Initiative. But I don't know anything about it. Tokiko didn't tell me anything either. I don't really know. She looked out for me, but... Of all of us who cracked the BATS 490 code, I was the youngest. Oh. Where did the code point to, anyway? The cathedral beneath the Nice Japan building. Well, technically the staircase above it. You head down the spiral staircase to reach the cathedral. Six years ago, I cracked the code and met Tokiko there. She taught me about Nice and its ideology. And you converted on the spot. Yeah. Mizuki, couldn't you be a little more delicate? Isn't that where they sell sandwiches and stuff? So you found out about the genome research somehow? Yeah, but it's okay. I'm the same as you. What? I was also a result of genome experiments. Though I was experimented on when I was still an embryo. I see. You don't seem surprised. I know about your superhuman strength, Mizuki. If anything, I was kind of expecting it. I know about machine engineering, but 
not gene engineering, so I don't know too much about the details, but I do know that it works. My body is proof of that. You suspected something was off, didn't you? Yeah, but I didn't know about the experiments. Mizuki, you're different, you know? How so? You treat me like a normal person, even now that you know. The other kids at school weren't like you. They were creeped out by me. They avoided me, made fun of me. I was picked on pretty badly. I remember they ripped up one of my textbooks. So that's why you ditched school and dropped out. Delicate. Sorry. Oh, right. About Tokiko. I also remember this from six years ago. I went to the cathedral like normal, and I saw her pass the altar. She had her back to me, so she didn't notice me. I only saw her from behind, but I could tell she was concentrating on something. I didn't want to interrupt by saying something, so I walked up behind her. That was when she noticed me. She put away what she was looking at. I think it was some kind of file. She seemed caught off guard. There was a small safe back there. She put whatever she was looking at in there, closed it, and told me... What you just saw, you cannot tell anyone under any circumstances. Or else there will be consequences. Do you understand? I was surprised. She never threatened me like that before. Guess whatever she was looking at was really important. Something she didn't want anyone to know. So that's located in a hidden safe behind the altar at the cathedral? Yeah. This could be an important lead. Right. I have to go look. But that place was destroyed in the explosion six years ago. Oh, right. The staircase collapsed too! That shouldn't be a problem. There's another entrance. Another entrance? What? What is this? It is locked quite securely. This wasn't here six years ago. But that was a different staircase, wasn't it? Right. I attempted x-ray mode, but this door is made of dense material. The locks are a special alloy. I don't even think your monster strength could get through it. Any other entrances? Unknown. Damn. At the very least, there are no other entrances shown in the blueprints. Then what do we do? Hmm. If only we knew someone good at lockpicking. I know, Lian! <laughs> 